Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're reviewing Buff Bunny Collection's third swimwear collection. At least I think it's their third. This collection is launching February 19th at 1 p.m. CST. As always, I'll put the other times on the screen. So we're doing swimwear again. I never get as excited about swim as I do about activewear because I go to the gym and wear activewear several times a week, probably one of my most worn clothing styles. But swim, I'm not much of an ocean person, a beach person. I don't swim very much in general. So I just really don't get a lot of use out of swim, which is why I don't get quite as excited about it. But over my years on this channel, I have reviewed quite a bit of swimwear. So I feel like I got the swimwear reviews down a little more. So we'll be discussing coverage, support, if anything's gonna roll or not, if there's a high leg line, all that good stuff. As always, if you are shopping the launch and you want to support me and help me keep making these reviews, you can use my support code, Catherine. And without further ado, let's start talking a little bit more about the swim. So in terms of the theme this time, there's definitely like three main ideas. We'll also just be going over colors and everything at this time. So in terms of solids, there's a couple more muted solids like this terracotta color, which is one of my favorites. And then there are also some super bright, bold colors. We have Aloha here, which is a like super neon yellow which I always think makes for a great swimsuit color. Next, there are a couple different bossy prints. So first we have this lavender bossy print. So it's just kind of that same slightly irregular polka dot pattern you've seen from Buff Bunny in the past, but in a lavender. And then they also have black and white bossy as well. And then there's also a ton of leopard prints, which I don't, I don't love leopard prints, especially like this like neon green leopard. It's not my thing. I'm a little more tame when it comes to prints. I love like a super simple print, something a little more muted. Um, animal prints are very bold. So I still think it's like super fun to have these, but just for me, I'm, I'm more on the solids and bossy print end of this launch. We have the black and white leopard, we have the lavender black leopard, and then this lime green and black leopard. Okay, welcome to the water test. First, I wanted to just say all the swimsuits do have a lining so in general they shouldn't be a problem with being sheer we were doing the sink today because to be honest i feel like it wasn't <laughs> that helpful when i was actually like wearing the swimsuits so i'm going to see if we can like read this nyx label or even just see any of the black when the swimsuit is wet so first we're starting with aloha gotta completely drench inside and out okay and i can see a little bit of that black label just when this is kind of you know, not stretched. And then, and then if we stretch the material, you definitely can see a little bit. So I think it's still going to be acceptable because you can't see it that much until I stretch it, but this is not going to be the most opaque color. Here's the black and white leopard. I think the leopard print kind of obscures a lot of it. And it's like a pretty thick white material. I'm really barely seeing any of the pink through even when stretching it. So I definitely think this one's gonna be safe. Peach, that was not the time. Okay, terracotta is going to be completely opaque. I am not seeing anything through this. Okay, so here is the green leopard and I'm not seeing anything through on this green leopard. Maybe like the tiniest little bit when I stretch it out a lot, but I definitely think this one's also going to be very opaque. Okay, the lavender is also looking pretty good. I am not seeing anything through. Also, since all the swimsuits are double lined, unlike the bossy print leggings, we have the bossy print on the outside, but the inside is a solid purple lining. So you're not gonna get that white lining. And in general, the soft matte materials are going to be more opaque than the ribbed materials. Definitely felt like the ribbed was slightly thinner. So if you're going for full opacity, I would stick to the soft mats. So there are a couple styles coming back in this launch that I will just do a quick try on of, but I have reviewed them in the past, but I've also gotten a little more wear out of some of them. So I feel like I have some important points as well. And then there are several new styles as well. Something I think that this launch was kind of missing is while there are full coverage bottoms for the one pieces, we'll go over coverage in just a minute. There really aren't any full coverage bottoms individually. In the last swim launch, I think they had like a swim short style, which was like, you know, good for people who aren't quite ready for a super cheeky bikini bottom. In this launch for the bikini bottoms, it's really all pretty cheeky. Like the most full coverage one are the shark bite bottoms and I would still consider those pretty cheeky. So I feel like this is something we've been asking for out of the swim. And I would just love to see just like a solid swim bottom with just like a little more coverage because I know that a lot of you guys want that. So if you were looking for a super full 
full coverage bottom in this launch, it's just really not going to be the swim launch for you. A couple other swim updates. So every piece has now switched to a coin style metal logo. So this is the style of logo you will see on all of them, just that little B in a metal coin. All of the tops and one pieces do have removable cut padding. And there is one activewear piece that is launching in this collection, which happens to be a favorite of mine, but they have the Flow Shorts V2. So we'll go over these later, but there are a couple changes. This is the only activewear piece launching. Okay, now let's get into coverage Level. So before we talk about each of the individual pieces and all the full details, I just wanted to give a quick breakdown of the coverage levels from least to most. So in terms of the bottoms, the least coverage will be the Sunkissed. Next, I was kind of torn between the Santorini and the Chasing Waterfalls bottoms. The Santorini does have a higher rise, so you have a little more coverage in that sense, but you have a little more cheekiness than the Chasing Waterfalls. The Chasing Waterfalls are not high rise, but they're still a pretty cheeky fit, just not quite as much as the Santorini. And the most full coverage bottoms in this collection are the Shark Bite bottoms. So these are my Shark Bites from the last collection, but I wasn't informed of any extra coverage. And you can choose to wear these a little bit higher or lower. And if you wear them lower, you'll get a little more coverage, but I still definitely would not consider them a full coverage bottom. And that's the most coverage we're getting in the bottoms this launch. Okay, and here's a breakdown of coverage for the bikini bottoms. The bottoms in terms of least to most coverage, so least is going to be the sun-kissed bottoms. As you can see, the front has no less coverage than the back, so these are going to be very cheeky in the back. Then we have the Santorini bottoms, and these ones I'm interested to see how they're going to be on, but it just looks like they're going to be very cheeky in terms of the bottom, but then they're going to have more coverage up at the top. I'm still kind of putting them at the lower end of coverage just for this bottom area. Then we have the Chasing Waterfalls bottoms. These have just like a little more coverage in the back. Definitely a cheeky fit though. And finally, the Shark Bite. If you don't wear these quite so high up on your hips, they can have a little more coverage, but I still would say they're still on the cheeky side of bottoms. So I don't really feel like there is a full coverage bottom this collection. Now in terms of one piece coverage, the least coverage, I'm talking about like cheek coverage in general, not top coverage. So for the one pieces, the least coverage will be the shark bites. In terms of medium coverage, the Laguna one piece, then the most full coverage one piece is the Venetian one piece. In terms of coverages for the one piece, just laying them down, it looks like the shark bite is going to be the least, but still looks a little bit more than the shark bite bikini bottoms. And then middle looks like the Laguna. I think we also just have more coverage in the front here. And then full coverage on the bottoms, definitely the Venetian. We have all this extra space coming out. Okay, now for the top coverage, starting at the least, we're going to have the sun kiss top. I don't even know how I'm going to fit into this one. Then we have the Chasing Waterfalls, which looks like it would be more coverage, but it's actually a very small amount of space there. So I'm putting it as second to least. And then we have the Santorini top, which the triangles definitely have more coverage than the Sunkissed over here. Then the Bermuda bikini top, which I think is kind of the most like a sports bra and going to be just a little more coverage, a little more support. And I like the little V detail still. And then lastly is this Surfside top. It's really more of like tankini-esque, really great coverage on the top. Something else I'm going to be pointing out throughout this review, which is something I've learned from some of my previous swimmer reviews, is if the edge of the bottom is a seamless edge or if it has a sewn edge. So the green leopard here is a seamless edge. You can see there is no stitching visible from the outside. And when you roll it over, you can kind of see the inside lining and it's a seamless edge. And then we have this lavender one. And if you look closely, you can see there is some stitching visible from the outside. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you'll be getting a stiffer type seam up here. And these styles both have their pros and cons for the seamless style of this green one. The seamless style is not going to cut into you as much. So you might not get that little like indent on your glutes while wearing these, but the style also doesn't really stay put quite as well and it tends to roll a little bit more. So you kind of have a give and take with that. And the styles with the more defined seam on the outside, these may cut into you a little more easily because they have a slightly more harsh seam, but they also stay put a 
lot better and really don't roll. So personally, I prefer the ones with the seam. I would rather have my swimsuit just kind of like be a little more snug and potentially cut in a tiny bit. This is just along the leg line and have them stay put a little more. So keep in mind throughout the video, I will be mentioning that. Okay, and without further ado, let's start getting into the individual pieces. Okay, I think I'm just going to start with all of the ribbed pieces. So we're all talking about them in one place. So I'm going to be starting with the Bermuda top. This might be the top I'm most excited for. It's coming in two solids and two leopard prints. I wear a size small in all Buff Bunny swimwear. I have sized up to a medium occasionally in the past and it just gets a little baggy on me. So I wear a size small. I have my measurements in the description and I also always wear a small in Buff Bunny bras and Buff Bunny bottoms. I also wear a small in like thong underwear, if that helps as well. Occasionally I wear a medium in more full coverage underwear, but for all of the swimwear today, a small fits me best. So this is the Bermuda top. It has removable cut pads. And for me, I feel like this one is the one that is most shaped like a sports bra. You have like a designated like bust area with the cut pads. You have kind of a long line here with just a little seam, but no harsh elastics. You have some strappiness in the back, the coin logo detailing. And there's kind of two main swim fabrics in this launch. This one is made of a ribbed material and it is an 85% nylon, 15% spandex. Here is the ribbed detail up close along with this little V and it's lined with a more smooth material, not ribbed inside. And you can see the cut pads insert from the top. Okay, so this is the first one I've tried on and already we can just wrap up the review because this is the winner for me. So I knew I would love this one because it's fitting me like a sports bra but I still don't feel like it really looks like a sports bra. Like we have this wire V detail that just gives you a little bit of cleavage here, but I don't feel like it's a lot. And I'm getting a little bit of scooping around the armpit, so I'd say minor side boob, but I'm definitely not gonna fall out of this. Like overall, I still feel really secured. After that shimmy, I feel like it's a good reminder that this video is for women or anyone who wants to wear a swimsuit. If you are a creepy man on this video, you might be wondering, why is this girl talking so much? Let's turn on, turn on these little brains and think, it is not for you. It is for the people who are wearing these swimsuits. So if you're a creepy man, Go ahead and click right off if you want to feel free to leave a creepy comment below so I can block you from the channel. Go right ahead. It really helps me out. Anyways, let's bring it back to the swimsuits. So I'd say overall coverage on this one is a medium. You have this kind of long line sports bra situation down here. There's no elastic in it, but you have that seam that goes right underneath the bust for a little extra support. I'd really say medium support for this one. It's not like crazy, but definitely more than a lot of swim options. And also for anyone who's new here, this is my natural chest. I do not have implants or anything. So I really do need support in my swimsuits in order for the girls to kind of stay where they are because they don't stay where they are on their own. We have three straps here and comes to a super cute strappy detail on the back. And yeah, I think overall for sizing on this one, I would stick to your normal sports bra size. It fits very much like a regular Buff Bunny sports bra. If you're in between, you can really go either way, size up if you're more on the larger side, size down if you want just a little more compression. But I just feel like this one's super cute and also functional. I feel like I could wear this without falling out of it. So the ribbed bottoms that I got to go with the Bermuda top, I got the Chasing Waterfalls bottoms because these are my favorite swim bottoms. The high cut leg line on these is super flattering. These bottoms come in a ton of colors, like almost every single color. You can mix and match these bottoms either with the Bermuda top or the Chasing Waterfalls top made of that same ribbed material. It has the seam along the top of the swimsuit, but the leg line is the seamless. So there is a slight chance of rolling up. Let's try these on. Okay, so I have the old Chasing Waterfalls bottoms here and the new yellow ones in the back. And they improved the um, bottom coverage here. Not like the bottom bottom, but you know, the lip coverage. So less chance of falling out of it in the bottom, which I think is great. All right, the Chasing Waterfalls bottoms. I have tried these before and they're just one of my favorite bottoms. So just a reminder, this bottom area is seamless. So there is some potential for rolling, just know that. But the top does have a seam. So there's also a little bit of potential. I feel like occasionally I do get a tiny bit of cutting in up here. But when I sized up in these, they were way too loose down here. So I still recommend staying true to size in these bottoms. They're a mid rise, but they have this high leg line that comes up on the hips. For me, I prefer a higher up leg line than just a flat across. So these are meant to be kind of higher up like this. They make your legs look nice and long. And we move along to the back and these are definitely a cheeky cover 
coverage. So I put them at a low coverage. And while I do mention that I feel like Buff Bunny should have a more full coverage bottom, I also should just state my own preferences and that I do like things a little bit on the cheekier side because I think they're more flattering for me. So I like the cheeky bottoms, but I know a lot of people out there don't. I just like to state my own preferences as well, but I just find these bottoms to be the most flattering on me. Again, we do have that seamless edge here. So they will kind of go up the glutes a little bit and there is some potential for rolling, but I have actually worn a Chasing Waterfall set swimming before and I felt like it did a pretty good job overall. The next ribbed piece is the Chasing Waterfalls top. I got this in the very first swim launch. So I'm just going to quickly go over. I have this in a small and a medium. This one is a small. And I just would say that this is just really not the most large cup size friendly swim top. It looks like it could be okay, but sizing up doesn't increase the coverage. And there's just this tiny little seam along the bottom. It's meant to have kind of like that under boob look, but for me, my girls just want to escape out the bottom. So this top just wasn't my personal favorite. I think this is best for like a C cup and below, unless you're okay with some risk of falling out. It is a super cute top and it looks great on a lot of people, but for me, it just wasn't totally my favorite. Definitely more like light medium support here. Removable cut pads. It's almost like just like a mini tank top situation. It's a cute top. I just personally get too much under boob in it and it's just hard to avoid. And the last ribbed piece that you can either mix and match with the Chasing Waterfalls top or the Bermuda top are the Shark Bite V2 bottoms. So it's basically the Shark Bite bottoms that we'll be talking about later in the video, but it'll be made of a ribbed material. So it's gonna be a little more coverage, a little more high rise than the Chasing Waterfalls bottoms but still made of that ribbed fabric. And you can actually reverse this one and wear it either front to back or back to front. They put the little coin logo on the side of this one so you can flip it around and it doesn't look weird. So now let's move into the second material style of this launch. And I'm still working with just um, tops and bottoms, no one pieces yet. So this is their swim material that I liked most from the last collection. In the very first Buff Bunny swim collection, they had this kind of like shiny material. And looking back, it just, it just kind of looked cheap, especially when wearing it and getting wet, it just wasn't the best. But now they've transitioned all of their pieces into the ribbed material or this more matte material, which I think looks much better for swim. This one is made of an 80% nylon, 20% spandex. And here's an up close of the material for you. It's just really a nice matte, non-shiny swimmer material. Starting out with the Santorini bikini top. I'm pretty excited about this one just because I love that it's coming in the lavender bossy print. It's coming in a bunch of other colors as well. But again, I got a size small. I think that this this one could be pretty flexible with sizing because it's like a self-tie situation. So anytime you have a top that you can self-tie, you can definitely size up for more coverage if that's what you want. So this one is kind of a triangle shape, but you can wear it a bunch of different ways. And anytime you can style a swimsuit a bunch of different ways, I get a little stressed because I just, I can't, they say you can tie it eight ways and I can think of like maybe three. So I'm clearly missing something. But yeah, removable cut pads and we're, we're just gonna try to figure this out while it's on. All right, here's the Santorini top the first way. This, I tied it with the string portion along the bottom, kind of the most like a regular triangle bikini and the thicker straps went up to the top. So this definitely has more coverage than a typical kind of triangle shaped bikini. Um, I think you could size up if you want a little more coverage. I did have to kind of make sure my girls were sitting in their places. With this style of bikini, I also feel like there's always a little bit of risk of falling out just because it's not the most secure and like these things can move, but it gives us a solid medium coverage. Support, I'm gonna give light in this way of tying it. We have the cup pads here. And yeah, this is style one, so I will show a couple other ways of tying it. Okay, here is another way of tying the swimsuit. So you can tie it with the skinny strap up as a halter, and then you tie the other straps in the back like this. So honestly, it looks like a completely different swimsuit. This is style number two. Okay, here's style number three. I might like this one the best. I feel like this is super cute. This is a journey to figure out how to get it on. I kind of just like, placed these here and started tying them together. And then I realized I had to like throw this strap over and tie it up. It's kind of um, just an experimental thing. I really don't know if I could do this again, but yeah, it's cute. So we have the spaghetti strap around the neck 
and around the back here and then you just tie the longer straps into like this little tie detail. I feel like you get more of like a sweetheart shape with this one. Then we have the Santorini bottoms. So these are definitely the most high rise of the bottoms. They have this little tie detailing down the side, kind of like a little lace up situation. Even though they're high rise, you can tell that the back coverage isn't that much more than the front coverage on most of this. So it's still going to be pretty cheeky. And this one does have that seam along the edge. So it's not going to roll up quite as much. So let's try this one on. All right, so here are the Santorini bottoms and I'm just not loving them on me quite as much as I thought. So a lot of it's personal preference. I feel like the leg line here is pretty low. So I'm not getting that kind of elongating high leg line that I personally like because I'm mostly torso, not so much legs. So I look for things that kind of elongate my legs. It's also super high rise, goes all the way up to the belly button. It does have a seam at the top here. So these are definitely the most full coverage in the front, lots of lower tummy control in here. We have this lace up side detailing, which I think is super cute. And then this bottom opening does have the seam, which I feel like I'm getting a good amount of cutting in this time. And like I said, even though these look like a lot of coverage, they're actually pretty cheeky like this is the max amount of coverage I can get and with the seam here I feel like it's staying put really well it's not going to roll but again it might cut in a little bit so I would consider a size up in these personally I would stick with the small just because it might get a little baggy in other areas but definitely if you're in between I would choose your larger size because there is definitely some potential for cutting in down here. But also in terms of front coverage, I feel like I have a lot of coverage in the front. We won't be losing a lip or anything in this swimsuit. Next, we have the Sunkissed top. So this came out last launch. It's kind of like a slightly more strappy version of a classic triangle bikini. Speaking of strappiness, I cannot seem to untangle this. Okay guys, several minutes later, I finally figured out <laughs> how this back works. I, I am nervous <laughs> about, about this one because it is so small and I just know that um, this girl, she's it's bigger than it's bigger than this little top. I didn't get to try it last time, so I don't know really what I'm in for. This is another top that you can definitely size up for more coverage because you do self tie the back. So in reality, I maybe should have gotten like a medium in this one just for a little extra space in the cup area. But you just have some triangle tops here, a double strap for it to slide across. So you can kind of adjust this one. They do have removable cut pads. It's made of the same soft matte material. And then the back comes to a T back. It has a few little ties and then you can tie it into the bow in the bottom. So let's just try this one on. So this one has very little coverage. We're gonna go with low coverage on this one. I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable doing any sort of swim activity in this one because I have three modes of escape. We have this way, this way, and out the bottom. So I just don't feel super secure in this one. Um, you know, light support, light support. It does have cut pads, so kind of prevents the nippage a little bit, but sometimes the cut pads just take up a little extra space. We have the two strings along here, that the swimsuit kind of slides along. You just tie it up into a halter in the back. And then the back is a little different from just a regular triangle swimsuit. It has these little knots up here that make it go into a little tee back and then you tie it down here. The strings are pretty long. They go like, you know, all the way down there. So it's a nice variation from the normal triangle swimsuit. But for my larger cup size ladies, I would either not go for this one or size up one to two sizes, just because you really can tie this around the waist to fit you as needed. So I think the sizing is pretty flexible on this one. You can definitely size up and just tie it tighter because there's nothing stopping you from just tightening it to fit to your own rib cage. And to go with the least coverage top, we also have the least coverage bottoms. So these are the sun-kissed bottoms, kind of your classic like little string bikini bottoms, a little bit different. We do have double straps and not just one single tie strap on the side. This one also doesn't have the coin logo detailing. It instead has detailing on the little metal aglets at the end of the side chains. And this one, from what it looks like on the models, it kind of is meant to like scrunch up the cheeks a little bit in the back, so. If you're looking for coverage, this isn't the one. But if you like a cheek swimsuit, it's an option. I think I tried this one in the last swim launch and I don't think I love quite how it sat on me. It kind of got like a little 
bagginess in some spots just because it's supposed to bunch up and stuff. So let's see if it's any different this time. So here are the bottoms. These are definitely a low rise, lower than the Chasing Waterfalls. They can be placed slightly higher up on the hips with these ties and you do tie them yourself. So the sizing is decently flexible on these, but if you size up too much, you might get a little too much bagginess down here. I feel like I have decent coverage in, you know, the lip region. I don't feel like I'm falling out, but it does go pretty low down. Just wanted to show the aglets have that little buff bunny logo detailing on them, little metal aglets, and it is doing what I thought it was doing before. I think it's part of the style of the swimsuit. I just don't know if I love it. It just feels like it's getting a lot of gathering in here and then in the back it just goes straight up the cheeks really um this is how the models are wearing it and this is just the only way for it to sit on me because if you try to bring it out in two seconds it gets eaten right up so that's just how it's going to be this is definitely the least coverage of all of them low low super cheeky coverage i still think it's flattering but in terms of kind of a more low coverage high leg line shape I just prefer the Chasing Waterfalls overall, just because I'm not a fan of too much of this gathering. Okay, and the final top, this is from last year's collection. This is the Surfside Bikini Top. So this color will not be coming back, this collection. I have this one from last year. It's all new colors this time, but I wear a size small in this. It has removable cut pads. This is the most full coverage top. If I remember right, it can give a little bit of side boob around here, but I felt pretty covered everywhere else and it has this lace up back detail so you can kind of tighten it to give the girls a little extra support so i definitely felt like this one was more of like medium even medium to high support depending on how tight you tie it and if i were to go on like a beach swim situation where i'd be needing a swimsuit and i wanted something to be a little more high impact and that i feel like i'm not going to fall out of this would definitely be the one because there's just no chance of falling out of this one and just wanted to show the cup pads are sewn into place here. And lastly, the shark bite bottoms. These were from last year, so this logo is now on the side and not on the back. So it can be more easily reversed, but we're just gonna try this one on real quick. Um, it does have a seamless edge to the bottom, but a seam along the top. So there is possibility of rolling and you can wear it with the straight side in the front, or you can wear it with the V in the front. Personally, I like the straight style in the front. And these are the most full coverage option today, but they still are definitely a little cheeky. All right, super quick, the shark bite bottoms. This is the flat way in front. And as we can see, they're not the highest on the leg line. I think they kind of scoop around a little bit to the back, but they don't elongate my legs quite as much as the Chasing Waterfalls. We have a little seam along the top here, but I don't find that this one personally cuts into me. These ones are very true to size. And the leg opening on this one is a seamless, but I have worn these and these ones didn't roll very much. I think it's just the way that they are sitting. They just didn't have a lot of rolling. Then you have the little V in the back. I will try these on the other way as well. But as you can see, they're still pretty cheeky. Like they still go pretty high up on my glutes. You can kind of wear them a little bit lower on the hips and have them cover a little bit more, but they're really more designed to be worn as more of a high rise. These aren't quite as high rise as the Santorini bottoms. I'd say the second to most high rise because they don't quite go up to the belly button, but you still get a little more coverage down here. Definitely very good front coverage. There's no chance of losing a lip here. And yeah, I would honestly still rate these as like a medium cheekiness, maybe even light to medium cheekiness. All right, here is the V in the front. This way is more of a mid rise. And I think you get maybe a little bit more coverage when you wear it this way. So you can get more of a medium style coverage in the back if you wear it reversed. And keep in mind, this logo is now on the side so you can more easily reverse these. On to one pieces. I'm super excited about this one because they brought it back. This is such a solid one piece and it only came out in black last time. And this time it's coming out in three different colors. This, so this is the terracotta color. And this is definitely going to be a full coverage, super sporty one piece option. This one is the only one that's in a slightly different material. It's actually a 74% nylon, 26% spandex. And it's not a ribbed, but it has this kind of like line detailing. So as you can see, it's not quite that same 
solid, soft matte as before. This actually looks like it's going to be pretty long torso friendly. If you guys don't know, I'm five foot nine and I'm all torso and no legs. I need, I need things that are going to fit a long torso. I still stuck with a small on this one. And the zipper locks into place wherever you want to keep it, which I think is awesome. So I just locked it into place here and it's not moving anywhere. So you can feel secure no matter where you keep the zipper. And I don't remember if it had cup pads or anything last time, but we do have removable cup pads in here now. And there is a seam that kind of keeps them where they're supposed to be. So they don't go like, you know, down to your waist or anything. Okay, this one is a lot kinder fitting to my long torso. And honestly, this one feels really good. So definitely true to size on this one. This one has a seamless lining around here, so I'm not getting a lot of tightness. I feel like I still have pretty good coverage, maybe a little less coverage than some of the other bottoms in the front, but I don't think I would fall out of it. We have the full zipper, goes all the way up if you want to be fully covered. There's also cup pads that sit like right between here and here, so I feel like it's a pretty natural spot for the cup pads to be. But if you want to zip this down and like, you know, show a little bit of cleavage or something, the zipper completely locks and is not going to come undone or anything. So I like that about this zipper. Personally, I'd probably wear it kind of like around here. Really nice tank shape. I love this kind of oh, like striped, almost ribbed material, but it's not really ribbed. The back has a little seam detailing and it is seamless along here, so it can kind of slide in a little bit, but I'm not getting any cutting in to my glutes or anything. So I like that it's not cutting in, but now that I'm wearing it, I would give it kind of like a, a medium cheeky coverage. Not full cheeky, but just medium. But I think this is one of the most functional one pieces and it's also long torso friendly because I'm wearing it here and it's actually pretty comfortable for me. In terms of top coverage, full coverage and support, I'm gonna go with medium to high support. I'm not quite as compressed as the Shark Bite one piece, but that one I feel like just ran a little small. This one's much more true to size, no need to size up. Next one piece, they made the Shark Bite bottoms and surf side top into a one piece together. So in the front, it looks very simple. There's not much going on. And then in the back, you have that little kind of V shape of the Shark Bite bottoms, that same kind of cheekier style. And then it has that tie up detail that the surf side top had. So they said for this one, it can be a little tricky to get into. You kind of step in to the bottoms and then you pull the top over your head and then you lace it up so that it's nice and snug for you. And this one also has removable cut pads. The logo detailing is in the back here and it does have a seam on the outside of the leg. So this one is not going to roll up on you. Okay, they weren't kidding. This one was quite the task to get on. Um, I feel like it might run just like a little bit small. I could probably do a medium in this one. Um, it's feeling pretty snug up here, which is okay with me because I'm happy to get a little extra compression. In terms of front coverage, I feel like we have a ton of coverage. Very covered with the girls. There's a little bit of scooping around here, but there's absolutely no way that I would fall out of this. So this would be a very good like sport one piece. And I'm like really compressed. <laughs> I'm honestly getting like a high support there. Um, I'm getting a lot of tightness down here. Um, again, a lot of it's due to my height. I have a very long torso, but because these bottoms have the seam, around the bottom, um, it feels just even a little bit tighter in the front. This is something that if I was going to be wearing it for even like an hour or so, I would probably get some red marks and just some discomfort. So good coverage down here. And even in the back, you can see I'm getting quite a bit of cutting in with the seams at the bottom. I also think a lot of it could be due again to the length. So sizing recommendations for this one, if you're kind of on the shorter side and you're not in between sizes, go with your normal size. If you're in between, definitely size up. And if you're not usually in between, but you're on the taller side, I would also size up in this. It was very challenging to get on. and I frankly don't ever want to do it again because it was just so hard to pull my head into this. And I'll show you the back here. So it laces up nicely. Another reason you could size up is because you can tighten the laces and make it a little more snug to you up here. So you have this lacing region, very long strings. I feel like their strings are just way too long. Like, am I supposed to tie this around the front or something? Because these are dangling all the way down to my thighs. And then you have the V detailing. Very similar to the Shark Bite bottoms, except the Shark Bite bottoms didn't have the seam. These do have a seam. So we're going to not get any rolling on these, but 
some potential for cutting in. And as you can see, it is cutting in on me. And the very last swimsuit is the Venetian one piece. So this one's kind of an asymmetrical design. It has this strap on the side here that's just kind of like a regular bra strap, but you can take it off. So it truly is a one shoulder, which I will try it on both ways for you guys. I got the double bossy print one. So this also comes in the lavender bossy print and just the plain terracotta color. And this one also is a slightly different material. So the one pieces are just doing their own things with material. This one is a 75% nylon, 25% spandex. And here it is close up. It's kind of a more, um, I don't know, more like stretchy rib than the other one. I would say it's not quite as firm of a ribbed material as like the Chasing Waterfalls in Bermuda. And this one has the most full coverage bottoms, super, super full coverage. You can see they literally go out for extra coverage. And I would just like to see the bottoms of this style in a regular like bikini bottom because some people don't wanna wear just a one piece. So they do have the cheek coverage if you'd rather go for a one piece, but when it comes to two pieces, not so much. So let's try this one on. Uh, it also has removable cup pads like all of them do. Okay, here's the Venetian one piece and this material is very forgiving and super stretchy. So sizing, I would still say true to size, but if you're in between, you can absolutely size down in this one. Also as a long torso gal, I'm doing fine in this one. It's not causing any issues. It does have a seam along the bottom, but I'm not getting as much tightness as I did in the shark bite one piece. Let's spend a moment on the top. So we do have cut pads in here. I love that they included this little strap just in case people wanted it and aren't comfortable with a one shoulder design, but I think it just looks a little bit cheap and I prefer without it. I still feel like I have enough coverage without it, but I'm also noticing that this is kind of wanting to roll over a little bit without that strap there, and it shows where the strap inserts. But otherwise, still plenty of coverage for my larger cup size ladies, even on this side where it kind of cuts away. I am at no risk of falling out in terms of support. Um, I'm giving it a medium just because this side doesn't have quite as much support without the strap. This situation comes untied, and then you can just tie it into a little single or double knot detail here. I think I would like this one best in the solid color, but I actually like this design a lot. And in terms of the bottoms, as we can see, not the highest cut leg line, so more kind of like a low cut leg line, but look at all this bottom coverage. My cheeks are fully covered, like zero cheekiness, full, full coverage bottoms. This is exactly the style that I feel like everyone is asking for in a bikini bottom. So I know they're capable of it, and it feels like it's staying in place pretty good. It's really not cutting into me very much. So I hope that we have more to come in terms of a full coverage bottom. And then just a moment for the back, the logo is right in here. And yeah, I think this one's definitely the best option if you're looking for maximum coverage. And lastly, let's move on to some cover-ups. So they have these super cute Odyssey mesh pants this time, which I had to try. So they're pants made of a full mesh. So they're super lightweight. They have an elastic band at the top made of a 91% polyester, 9% spandex. And then they have this wrap detailing that you tie in the front for a cute little like wrappy look. In the bottom of the pants, they have a little like drawstring thing. So you can tie the bottom and make it more of like a cinched ankle, or you can just have the regular flowy ankle. So these are the Odyssey mesh pants. They also come in some prints, but I just thought the terracotta was just like so cute. All right, guys, we have the Odyssey mesh pants. So I will measure the inseam for you guys. They're just like a teeny bit short on me. So first, well, let's just take a moment for them without tying them at the edge. Um, they're probably like, they feel like more of a straight leg fit, but I think if I tie the ankles a little bit, it'll look just a little better on me just because they're already a little short and I feel like it looks better if they're intentionally at the ankle. Okay, so I tied the ankles a little bit. Now they kind of have like a little like cuffed ankle situation. Up close a little more, they are solid high rise. I guess I can't really show you where they are, but they are above my belly button. I probably shouldn't have tried them on with this, so I'll do a quick try on with um, a bikini bottom in a minute, but they come just like this with a little elastic waistband. I would say true to size on these, but if you're in between, 
I think you could go either way. Personally, I would size up just to have a flowier fit, but it just depends what you want. And you can also get a little extra waistband snugness when you tie this little mesh wrap detail. So this is a super cute cover up. I feel like I never have a lot of like cute swim cover ups and I love the option for pants. They are a mesh, so they are sheer. So you can kind of see your bikini bottoms under this. I feel like these aren't necessarily limited to the beach. Like if you're like into clubbing and stuff, I feel like this could also be cute. So yeah, they are a mesh. They're going to be more visible in these solids, but there are also prints, which I feel like the prints will look a little bit less sheer and yeah they have and yeah they have a little stretch to them so they definitely are you know thick thigh thick booty friendly and again here's the cuff detail close up i don't know how you would avoid the strings kind of hanging down if you wanted to wear it like this more of a flowy leg but i guess you could just remove the strings altogether okay definitely wear a swim bottom that you think kind of complements the color of this because you will see it through but you can see where it hits me on my waist without anything underneath it. Goes above the belly button, hits me at the narrowest point in my waist. And yeah, this is how it looks and I will tie it real quick. I think it looks really cute with a little two piece situation. Um, definitely better with not the neon yellow underneath though. Some other cover ups I did not get. They also have the sail away sarong. A sarong is usually just a piece of fabric that you kind of tie around your hip. So the sarong is also made of a full mesh. There's the Odyssey mesh skirt. This came out in the last swimmer collection and I didn't get to try it that time. Or maybe it came out in the under the sea collection. Either way, I have not tried the Odyssey skirt. It's just coming in black and terracotta and it's made of the Nimbus fabric, which a lot of buff bunny tops are made out of a super soft, very flowy fabric, so that one's not a mesh. There's also the Cayman cover-up, which is like a full body, super long dress style cover-up, also made in the same mesh as the pants and the sarong. And lastly, I just mentioned these in my 2021 favorites as my favorite flowy short. We have the flow shorts, they're back, except this time it's the flow short V2. I think the fabric was slightly updated. I know they added a zipper pocket in the back, love zippered pockets. I still wish the front pockets were zippered pockets, but small wins. And they also updated the sizing on these. So if you used to size up just because mine in the past in a size small, that's what I wore, but they weren't super flowy. They should be a little more flowy now. The flow shorts, if you're unfamiliar, have a full spandex short lining on the inside. So you're not gonna get those underwear lines with the brief lining that a lot of flowy shorts have, which I personally just don't love. And they also are much longer than most flowy shorts. So you're not gonna be exposing your cheeks like you will be in the rest of the swimwear. And the base material of this one, so the outside is a 97% polyester, 3% spandex. So it's just a very light amount of stretch. I would call it more give than stretch. And the inner knit lining is a nylon spandex. So here's a close up of the fabric. It's a little less windbreakery than before. Um, it feels like a little less prone to wrinkles and it's actually pretty soft. So we're going to compare all of the flow shorts. This is the very first generation of flow short. These are the second in a solid color and these are the thirds. So in terms of material feel, this new kind of softer material feels most like the printed flow shorts, which was my favorite to begin with. Another update is the length. The new flow shorts only have a two inch inseam and both of the other generations of flow shorts had a three inch inseam. Hey, Pins. Pins. Let's not play with the shorts. Okay. They also changed the inner shorts. So the new flow shorts have an actual gusset. So it'll cause a little less tension on that front seam. The new flow shorts are also a three inch inseam on the inside. And the old flow shorts, they were kind of like this like inside out situation. You could never see it, but still they had no gusset and they were only a two inch inseam. So we now have a gusset and an extra inch on the inner inseam. And lastly, you can see the old flow shorts on top of the new ones. And we have a little extra space on the waistband as well as just more space overall. So if you felt like you needed to size up in the past, you definitely don't now. Okay guys, the updated flow shorts, right off the bat, they still have that nice high rise that the flow shorts had and a really good amount of coverage, but I'm definitely feeling like they have more material here and it's less snug on my glutes. So love how they updated the sizing. They feel super soft and we still have a nice short length on the inside, no underwear lines or anything. And there's just honestly like no loose running short like this one. And I live in these shorts over the summer. So I'm so glad they came out with a V2. We still have these two front pockets here. We have the elastic waistband with a drawstring. 
In terms of sizing, they're more true to size now, but I still might size up if in between just to maintain some of the flowiness. And the left pocket is just a plain pocket, but the right pocket has a zipper if you want a more secure place for your keys. All right guys, that is everything launching in this collection. I hope this video was helpful. If you are shopping the launch and you found it helpful, you can feel free to use code Catherine at checkout. I always really appreciate it. And comment down below your thoughts. I know a lot of you guys love Buff Bunny for the activewear, so you'll probably be happy that this launch is swim so you can save your wallets a little bit of money. But I know some of you guys really like the swim. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.